Hey everyone, it's Aubrey, Recovering Perfectionist, Queen of Distraction, Hot Mess, and today we're making candles. I don't know if the candle making will actually happen today or if it will be tonight or another day, but right now I am going to pick and choose my vessels. This feels a little indulgent right now, like I really should be cleaning the house because to be completely honest, it is a wreck. My husband has been working a really weird, a really, really weird schedule that has just left me to fend for my wee little self with the kids. And I've been doing, doing, doing for the kids and I'm just trying right now to take a moment for myself and do something that feels creative, even if it is just picking out empty containers out of the hope chest or what I like to refer to as where my hobbies go to die. So let's, let's choose some vessels. Okay, I have two pounds of wax. I don't know how much that's actually going to fill, but I'm gonna choose, I'm just gonna choose some things and we'll see what speaks to me. We're always gonna say yes to, to the teacups. It's just beautiful. Like you light it and like the porcelain or whatever the heck it's made out of just glows and it's, it's quite lovely. My grandma's creamer. That's always a good one. Ooh. This bread bowl still has a bunch of wax in it. So I might just try and repurpose that. So I'll do that one. I always love a vintage mason jar. Those make me happy. These are votives from me and Josh's wedding. So we'll do one of those for old time's sake. And I've really been wanting to make a candle out of this candy dish. So that's probably too many, but we're just, we're gonna start with this and see where we go. Okay, I'm gonna boil some water that I will inevitably forget about for a significant period of time that I will, just being realistic here, I know myself at this point, that I'll pour in the vessels just to loosen up the old wax and then it'll rise to the top part and I'll be able to pop it out. Boop, all right. Now we wait. what I tell you? Okay, so I'm having a thought. Because sometimes when you pour a hot thing in a cool thing, it breaks. I'm going to put the thing in another thing to avoid any disaster. I'm not in the mood for any unnecessary cleanup. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, nothing's breaking. I suppose I would not expect a teacup to break. I'm gonna let everything sit here until the water cools and all the wax has risen to the top and hardened. And this one, since there's still so much wax in there, I'm gonna wait until I'm ready to actually pour to heat that up so I can just put it right in another vessel. So over the last couple hours, I just let everything cool down. All of the wax rose to the top and hardened. So Jackson and I, who is my helper tonight before bedtime, we're just gonna pop these out. And then I think that I'm gonna try and reuse this wax. I don't see why. I couldn't reuse it. So let's get them out. Are you ready? We just try and do it gently, like press it on the side. Woo! Oh, that was pretty easy. Do you wanna do you wanna take it out? You wanna show the camera what it looks like? See, it's just a big old chunk of wax. It looks like it is kind of dirty, so maybe I'll wipe that stuff off. No, this one's That one doesn't really have in it. Okay, yeah, so this one didn't have a whole ton, so I'll just clean that out and this one didn't have a bunch of wax either so those ones aren't a ton of work uh, this one had a bit Ooh. this is a big one 
That is a big chunk. It looks like a big Oreo piece. The, inside. the inside, yeah. Don't eat it though. Yes, you do. No, let's <laughs> not eat it. I can get those little wick bits out. This is this one is the yeah. trickiest. I know. I think that one we might end up having to break in half. You got a good grip on it. Like this. If you'd like to. Oh, I broke Did it just plate. go right through the middle here? Yeah. Let's see. We might need to try and, and we might need to try and detach it from the side. Uh... <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> That was actually really cool. That was actually cool. Oh man. Okay, well. I'll get it out. You think you can with your smaller hands? All right, thank you. I've been trying to record this snippet for far too long and just kind of condense all of my thoughts into something that doesn't have you guys sitting here for a half an hour. Basically, long story short, my grandma died from mesothelioma and it really got me thinking hard about the ingredients that are in cleaning products, skin care products, uh, candles, this, that, and the other, basically the things that I'm bringing into my home and putting my family and myself in contact with. I used to buy a ton of candles from Bath and Body Works, Target, like Ross and Marshalls. And once I stopped bringing those candles into my home and burning them, I noticed a huge reduction in my headaches. So the fragrances that are added to those are a lot of times carcinogens, so cancer causing ingredients, paraffin wax when you burn it, known carcinogens are released into your air. So uh, fun fact, yeah, the candles that I make, I just use soy wax and I leave them unscented. Other times I'll add essential oils. I know a lot of people say like, oh, just use an, an essential oil diffuser. And like, yeah, those are fun and great, but I don't know, there's just something about a candle and making candles has been a enjoyable, therapeutic little craft that I just haven't been able to do for far too long. And, and I'm excited to do it today and share it all with you. So thank you for hanging out with me today while we make candles for the first time in two years. I just imagine this thing shattering when I pour the hot wax in. So I'm taking precautions because that's a mess that I don't want to clean up tonight. All right, we're done. Now we wait. I'm excited to see how these turned out in the morning. Um, at the last minute when not as much of this candle filled as I wanted it to, like I really wanted this teacup filled. And if this one would have filled like a proper amount, I probably wouldn't have poured it out. But, cause that mason jar, it is, it is really pretty as a candle. But I'm excited about the teacup. That one, I'm just gonna like, Meh. So yeah, I am now gonna clean this up and go to sleep. That's what I'm doing. All right, you got it? All right, so this is how oh, everything turned out. Some of them, actually not some of them, all of them, they didn't really cure evenly <laughs> and they have cracks and kind of imperfections, but I don't care. It's not like I'm trying to sell them and I'm, burning them at home. So it's not a big deal, but Jackson has the wax trimmer and he's gonna trim those up for me. All right, so we've got five candles to get us through. Spring, oh, what do you think it is, a snack? No, that's not for eating. He was. Sometimes it can just be so challenging to say no to the things that we feel we have to do and take time for the things that make us feel happy. And while yesterday it was difficult for me to prioritize something that I wanted to do and try and forget about the things that needed to be done around the house, I am certainly glad I did. I feel like a little part of me that was really struggling yesterday is healed today. And I was even able to find a couple little ways for Jackson to 
be a part of the process, which always makes me feel good. Even though there are some obvious imperfections in these candles, I don't care. I'm so happy with how they turned out, and I'm really looking forward to the candles that I make this fall and winter. So while sometimes it is extremely difficult to prioritize our creativity, it is so, so important to take care of that little part of ourselves. And I am certainly happy with the decision that I chose to make. So as always, I love you, have fun, and be kind. I'll see you in the next video.